everyone, I'm Juanita, and in this video we will learn how to optimize your code using the profiler. To display it, click its name under panes in the view menu. The profiler will determine the runtime and number of calls for every function and method used in a file. There are three ways of profiling a file. We can browse for a file using the open button to the right of the profiler's path box, which will run profiling over it automatically. We can also manually enter the path in the paint's path box and then run the analysis on the file by pressing the profile button. If we want to run the profiler for the file that is currently open in the editor, we can click Run Profile in the menu bar or use the configurable shortcut F10. We see that the results in the paint show us the different functions and methods in our file with each subfunction listed hierarchically under the item that called them. The columns show the total time taken by each function and everything it called, while the local time includes only the time spent in that particular function. For example, the function values in this file calls the function internal values. Values took a total of 482 microseconds to run, with 338 microseconds of that spent executing internal values inside of it. Therefore, the total time for values is 482 microseconds, but its local time is only 144 microseconds as the rest was spent inside internal values. The calls column displays the total number of times that a function was called at a level. Finally, the numbers in the div columns for each of the three appear if a comparison is loaded and indicate the change in runtime between the two measurements. By double-clicking an item in the profiler, we will be taken to the file and line in the editor what it was called. If this function was not called in one of our open scripts, clicking it will open the file that contains it. We can click the down arrow button in the file name field to recall paths of previously profiled files. Now that we know how to interpret the results of our profiling, let's optimize our code by finding the functions that take the longest time and making them faster. In this case, today time takes 39 seconds to run. The reason for this is Pandas has to parse the non-standard timestamp format and it is not told to try to use a faster parser than the default. We can reduce the time this function takes and compare it with the one before. For this, first we have to save the data as a .result file with the save button in the pane. Now we have to figure out how to optimize the function, so let's search for it. We see that we can speed up this function by manually specifying a datetime format. So we add the appropriate argument to our function call. Now we run the profiling again to see how our script's performance has improved. If we want to see how much we lower the time, we can load our previous result and take a look at the div columns. Notice the difference is green because the time was reduced by 3 times, taking only 13 seconds instead of 39. Our code is now 26 seconds faster. Now that you've learned how to analyze the execution time of your code, you are ready to write more efficient programs with Spider's help. Stay tuned for our next videos and as always, happy spidering!